Good morning, everyone. This is Paul from Forex Mark Trade. Glad you could be with us this morning, uh, where we're going to do a live trade. Uh, Forex Mark Trade. Uh, uh, our mission is to uh, uh, help uh, bring people to financial independence through currency trading with our proprietary indicators, and to move you from your current self to your best version of yourself. So, uh, with that, let's. Uh, Let's uh, get to it. Um, I like to work off of a uh, trade routine, uh, and uh, this is my trade routine. Uh, uh, every day I like to start taking a look at what I did yesterday. Uh, for us, since we're doing it once a week, uh, we uh, last week we ended up taking two trades. Uh, uh, we took a uh, one was a five pip trade and then a ten pip trade. Uh, one was using the thick orange line uh, signal, and the other was using the uh, ten point signal. Uh, uh, on these trades, we like to uh, keep it uh, to the things that we uh, uh, that people uh, uh, are familiar with and from the introductory sessions. So uh, uh, this morning we will also look for a. Uh, thick orange line trade and a 10 point trade so last week we had two uh, good trades uh, our next item uh, we'd like to take a look at uh, is there any news coming up so to do that we go to forex smart trade or excuse me to uh, forex factory and uh, this morning there was some news on the uh, pound uh, today they've got g7 meetings uh, that uh, uh, oops, uh, hold on a second. We got some background noise there. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you've got your mic on, can you turn it off, please? Let's see. CO, uh, can you turn your uh, speaker off? It's giving a little feedback. Thank you. Uh, uh, G7 meeting, that's kind of generic. So uh, uh, there's nothing that uh, we need to worry about there. And then tonight there's uh, some news on the Australian dollar, uh, which uh, any trade that we take uh, from this morning uh, should have closed by then. So we have nothing to worry about. Uh, I like to do a quick scan to start uh, of the the. Uh, oops, let's see here. Uh, we still have some. Just a moment here. There's some background noise, and I'm trying to figure out how to how to adjust it. Uh, I think that did it. All right. Um, so let's take a so on the on the five point uh, on the thick orange line trade. Uh, there's two parts to the signal. Very simple trade, very quick trade. And the two parts of the signal are first we take a look at uh, the thick orange line. And let's start with. Uh, here, the thick orange line and what the number is associated with the thick orange line. Now, this number is the scale of the thick orange line. When it's as high as it can go, it's at, at zero. When it's as low as it can go, it's at minus 100. When it's as high as it can go, we, we are uh, uh, that's telling us we don't believe there's any more up in the movement. When it's as low as it can go, we don't believe there's any more down in the movement. Now, to be good at trading, uh, uh, we want uh, something that gives us uh, a confirmation that, yes, indeed, we've gone up, the move has gone as high as it can go, and it's about to turn, or the move has gone as low as it can go, and it's about to turn. So to, to get that confirmation, 
we look to a second indicator and we will look to the uh, majors and minors to see if the uh, uh, majors and minors support what we're seeing uh, on, the, on the thick orange line. So real quick, let's go across and see what we see. So I'm looking for a zero or minus, uh, minus 100 or within 10 points of either end. So minus 47 on euro dollar is a no. Minus uh, 72 on uh, uh, pound dollar is a no. Uh, minus 71 on uh, Australian US dollar is a no. Minus 61 on uh, uh, dollar Swiss franc is a no. Uh, minus 93 on dollar yen. That's a yes. I have the first part of the signal. Minus 93 is within 10 of, of, z of uh, minus 100. So now I want some confirmation. To get that confirmation, I'm going to look down to the majors and minors, and I want to see all the lines below the uh, oversold line. My minors are below the oversold line, but my majors are still in the middle of the channel. So these still have a ways to run, so there's still more down in the movement. So I am going to pass. Minus 68 is a no. Let's go on to the next uh, group of pairs. Uh, uh, Euro pound, uh, minus 15 is a no. Australian yen, minus 50 is a no. Uh, Euro Canadian, minus 50 is a no. Uh, Australian New Zealand dollar, minus 79 is a no. Again, I'm looking for zero or minus 100. Uh, minus 50 on uh, New Zealand USD is a no and minus 42 on uh, uh, Euro Australian dollars and now we've got one more pair to take a look at one more grouping uh, Australian Canadian minus uh, 79 isn't close enough minus 83 on uh, Swiss franc yen isn't close enough minus 89 that's almost minus 90 uh, uh, so uh, but I, I don't have my lines below the red, so it's not quite there yet. Uh, uh, pound uh, Australian dollar minus 69 is a no. Uh, New Zealand Swiss franc minus 50 is a no. Uh, minus uh, 43 on Canadian uh, Swiss franc is a no. So right now we we don't have a signal on any on any. Uh, on anything for a for a thick orange line trade. If we were to see the trade, we would wait till the top of the hour. Right now, there's 21 minutes left to the top of the hour and take the trade. But right now, there is nothing ripe for trading. And sometimes the best trade we take is uh, the trade that we don't take. So if there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Uh, we'll wait for the next hour. Now, uh, we'll scan it one more time as we get a little closer. Um, we'd like to have the indicator have a full, uh, right now we're working off of a 60 minute chart. Uh, and what that means is that each of these candles has 60 minutes of information. This is the candle from last hour. This is the candle from this hour, the current hour. So this candle currently has 42 minutes worth of data on it. Uh, we'd like to take this trade when we have at least 50, over 50 minutes of information driving the indicator. So uh, uh, we'll take a quick scan right when we get back to the top of the hour uh, to see if any of them have, have, have moved into the spot that make it a good trade. Now on a 10-point trade, this is a different signal. So we're, we're, we're examining different things. So uh, uh, now here, uh, rather than start with the thick orange line number, we're going to start in the middle. We're going to start looking at the majors and minors. And uh, what I want to look at is see if the lines are below the oversold or above the overbought. When we're below the oversold, that's the beginning of a buy signal. When we're above the overbought, that's the beginning of a uh, sell signal. So here I'm below. And then what I want to see if I'm below, I want all the lines pointed up. And I want uh, the lines double crossed. Uh, here the majors are kind of pointing up, but the minors are pointing down, so I don't have that condition. 
here uh, uh, pound uh, dollar uh, there's they're pointing down and uh, miners still haven't uh, they're not oversold yet uh, Australian US dollar I'm above the line uh, I don't really have the majors pointing down yet they're still kind of sideways and the the, the, uh, the the cross like I have here on the minors doesn't exist yet on the majors so I don't have the full signal uh, dollar Swiss franc uh, still pointing down they're below the oversold line but they're pointing down uh, dollar yen they're more than halfway through the channel if we could catch them a little higher up uh, 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 we could continue to examine, but even if we did catch them a little further up, uh, just quickly looking, we don't have the pressure in our favor. Uh, we've got sideways pressure with green on top, so we don't have enough here. Uh, uh, U.S. Canadian dollar, they're still on the channel, just about going. They're just the, the majors are over bought, but the miners haven't made it, and everybody's pointing up, so nothing there. Uh, Euro pound. Uh, uh, they uh, aren't oversold, but they're just kind of in the beginning of, of uh, just moved into the channel. So they're pointing up uh, uh, and double crossed. So let's assume that we've got three points here. Uh, I'm going to then go to my TNTs. And I want to have three of the four lines pointing in the direction that supports an up movement. So when uh, orange is going up, that means down. And when blue is going down, that means up. So here I've got one orange going up, one orange going down. Uh, so one of the two are telling me up. And I have uh, the thick blue going down, which tells me up, and the dotted blue going uh, up which tells me down so I only have two of the four indicators here so I don't have uh, to, to continue on with my analysis of this trade I want to have all all I want to have a minimum of three and we have two so that's not enough of a signal uh, dollar or excuse me Australian dollar yen they're above the blue line they pointed down the miners have kind of uh, are into the channel that's okay uh, uh, so I've got three points here one that they're above two that everybody's pointed down and three that I've got a double cross where uh, reds crossing over green and blacks crossing over gray mm -hmm. um, the two oranges are going down so there's two points there the thick blue is going up that's a third point so I've got three out of four I don't get a point for the dotted blue going down uh, and now I look down to my pressure and I want at least one one point. Uh, the pressure is going up still. It's starting to roll, but it hasn't quite yet. And green is on top. No point here. I want to have red on top or the line starting to come down. I don't have that. So I am going to pass. Euro Canadian. Uh, we're below the... Uh, oversold line we're just entering the the, the channel uh, everybody's pointed up double crossed so I've got three points here I've got thick orange going up uh, I've got thick blue going down that's two points dotted blue going down means uh, uh, dotted blue going up means down and the uh, this the thin orange is kind of sideways so uh, I only have two out of four here, so let's uh, let's keep going. Uh, Australian New Zealand dollar, I'm overbought, but uh, uh, majors are pointing up, so I don't have all three points here. Uh, Australia, uh, uh, excuse me, New Zealand uh, U.S. dollar, uh, I've got everybody pointed down. Uh, they're already a little bit into the channel. Up uh, oh, now, we've kind of lost our double cross here, but let's go up and take a look what we've got. We've got one down. 
uh, and actually one down and three saying up. So we don't have enough on the TNT here. The two blues are going down. Blues going down means up. And the thin orange is going up very slightly. So we don't have enough points here. Uh, 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 Euro, Australian dollar. Uh, we don't have them pointing. Majors aren't pointing up strong enough. I don't have the double cross. So nothing there. Let's keep going. Australian Canadian dollar. I'm overbought, but the lines are pointing up. Swiss franc yen. Uh, I'm overbought, pointing down, double cross. The miners have kind of already gone through the channel, but the majors are up here. So to, to me, that's okay. The majors haven't, haven't uh, made their move yet. Uh, so I'm going to count this as three. The two oranges are going down. That's two points. Uh, thick, uh, thick blue is going up. That's three points. So I've got three of the four here. Uh, but on the pressure, I've got sideways pressure with green on top. Uh, so I don't have, uh, I want to have at least one point from the pressure. I, I don't have it yet. Uh, Euro yen. Uh, we're oversold, but everybody's pointed down. Uh, pound Australian dollar. We're oversold, pointed up, double crossed. So this is good. The two orange lines on the TNT are going up. Dotted blue line is coming down, which means up. So I've got three of the four here. Uh, but I've got down pressure with red on top. So again, I don't have uh, enough of a signal with the pressure to give me uh, the signal I need to have confidence. And what I'm looking for uh, by each of these indicators are measuring something different. And when I get all three uh, aligned, where they're giving me information, I've got a very high probability of a good trade. So right now I don't have it. This is starting to roll. It's it's it's. The lines are diverging and it's starting to roll up, but it's not there yet. Uh, New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc. Uh, we're too much into the middle of the channel here. So uh, I'm going to leave this one alone. Canadian, uh, Canadian Swiss franc. Oh, yeah, Canadian Swiss franc. We're oversold but pointing down. So this morning... It looks like we didn't see any good trade uh, right now. It's uh, at uh, six thirty. Let's see. Uh, let's we've gone through them all. Let's see if we have anything again. Uh, minus one hundred here on the uh, on the uh, euro uh, yen. And I've got all four lines below. Uh, so this is a good, this is going back to our, our uh, thick orange line trade. I've got condition one. And I've got condition two. So this is worth the uh, five points. It's still a little early uh, to take the trade. Uh, I'm going to tee it up, but I'm going to hold off a minute or two before I take it. Uh, Euro yen. So I've got to open that chart. Open the new chart. File new chart. Uh, Euro yen. I look in this group. I don't see it. I look in the next group. Uh, I don't see Euro yen. I look in the third group. Uh, Euro Euro-Yen right here. So I open the chart. Um, I don't like that. Uh, I don't like this, so I'm going to put... Uh, this template. Uh, again, we've got a buy signal. Uh, to 
take a new order. I go to the second row, click new order. Uh, the lot size. Uh, this account has, let's see, this account has, uh, it's a demo account. It's got $8,600 in it. If I move my decimal place over four spots, one, two, three, four, I can take a, a, a lot size of 0.86. So a lot size of uh, 0.86. Uh, uh, my signal is for a buy. I click buy. It records it right under the uh, right under the uh, chart. Uh, I click anywhere along the line. It highlights it, and now I want to tell the broker what my stop loss and take profit are. You can see there's zero here, zero and zero. This trade is good for uh, five pips. Uh, so if I put five in here, I put 52 a little bit over, but I'm going to actually manually calculate it. And based on our uh, risk preference for right now, uh, we're going to just put four times what, uh, what our take profit is. So if I'm going for five pips take profit, uh, uh, 20 pip would be the stop loss because this scale is in points. I'm going to add an extra zero and make it 200. So I got in at 119.991. If I add five to this uh, middle nine, uh, that's going to go to uh, uh, 4020. So it should be 41. So to go from 119.991 to 120.041, that's five pips. I put in the trade and uh, 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 I can see my stop loss, my take profit, and I will wait. Let's see if we've got anything else uh, while we're waiting here. Uh, 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 no, no, minus 54, no, no, 73, no, uh, 50, no, 50, no, 32, no, 41, no, 49, no, 60, no, 64, no, 93 is a yes, but again, I'm not through the channel, uh, the lines are still in the middle, minus 64. All right, so today we've got uh, uh, one trade. It is a buy on the uh, uh, Euro Yen for five pips. Uh, and I've got to take profit at 120.041. Any uh, comments or questions? Questions, put them in the chat. Okay, gang. Great. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and uh, we'll see you uh, next week. Bye bye.